When the world knocked you off of your feet And you feel like all they notice is you're stumbling Just remember We've got two boys, uh, Zach and Jaden, that are shaving their heads today for, uh, for a great cause. I was just growing my hair for hockey hair and then Zach suggested we shave our heads. We're going to try to save some of the hair because what they're going to do is they're going to send it in and they're going to donate those locks and it's called Locks to Love is where it's going to go and they're going to take all those hairs and they're actually going to weave it into a wig or a piece or anybody who's actually losing the hair and it, and it just helps them feel a bit better and, and make them more secure when they've gone through this. And I think a lot of the coaches uh, inside the room are trying to impart wisdom that they can use beyond hockey. And I think that gets lost sometimes in wins and losses. And I, I think it's important for people to know that there's a, lot of, there's a lot of lessons that are being taught, not for hockey, but for life. And, and hopefully that will resonate here and, and what these kids are doing. So. Right, they've assessed an issue with a friend, a family member, somebody very close to them that set these wheels in motion. My first reaction when I heard about what they were doing was pure excitement and joy. Um, it's cool to see little kids want to do something so cool for their community and for illness and to raise awareness. Like, I don't think it gets any better than that. I don't know. It feels great. That's it, pretty much. It feels great. It feels so good to finally do it after months of support of people from our parents and friends and close ones. And yeah, it just feels really good to get it off and do it. Any reactions here? I think it's amazing. Great, good for them. Good cause. Would you do this? I would never do this <laughs> for fear of looking like this. <laughs> that's right. That's right. This is the after. <laughs>